Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me thank you for your kind invitation to participate at this symbolic inauguration of the Hungarian Israeli Scientific Society. I regret that I cannot be present in person, but I am most grateful for the opportunity to make this small contribution to it via this video recording from Budapest. Science has always been driven by creativity, by genuinely new ideas, and also more and more by cooperation. In today's highly competitive world of science, cooperation, uh, cooperation across domains and disciplines, and most importantly, cooperation between nations, institutions, and individual scientists has become a key driving force of success. This is why I'm so pleased to endorse the initiative of the Embassy of Hungary in Tel Aviv to establish a scientific society for the promotion of Israeli-Hungarian cooperation. Small nations with turbulent history tend to develop a leaning for creative thinking and a readiness to build partnerships in many fields of life. I'm convinced that it is these virtues matched with true determination uh, that are behind the past and present achievements of the many Israeli and Hungarian scientists we are so proud of. In an era of intensifying global brain circulation, I do not need to tell you how important it is for nations to cherish ties with the ever-growing scientific communities that have sprung up all over the world. It is most fruitful to rely on the knowledge, expertise, and extended horizons of those who had decided to live their lives far from their native environments. And it is our responsibility to offer a forum, a virtual or actual space that would allow them to interact while maintaining their loyalty and commitment towards their native communities. We can now witness the creation of such a forum in Tel Aviv through the establishment of Hungarian-Israeli Scientific Society. I am honored to congratulate you on this achievement. I would like to thank the Ministry of Science, Technology, and Space of Israel and the bar Ilan University for their support, and I would like to praise Rabbi Professor Daniel Hershkovitz for his election as honorary president of the society. I would also like to offer my support towards the objectives and the program of the society by of offering the assistance of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences in promoting the participation of our distinguished scientists at the events of the society, whether they are held in Israel or in the rooms of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences in Budapest. I certainly hope that I will also have the opportunity to participate in person at one of these events in the future. At this point, allow me to extend my invitation to my fellow Hungarian scientists to join the external public body of the Academy, already incorporating as many as 200 members, who regardless of their country of residence, wish to be affiliated with the Academy as the overall representative organization of Hungarian science. Finally, in my capacity as the president of the World Science Forum, May I take this opportunity to announce the seventh meeting of the forum that we are excited to host again in Budapest after the highly successful event in Rio de Janeiro last year. The 2015 forum will be held between November 4th and 7th with the title of The Enabling Power of Science and in collaboration with the most influential scientific organizations of the world. I hope I will be able to welcome many of you in Budapest in November next year at the opening ceremony of the World Science Forum. Let me wish you great success in launching the very promising activities of the Hungarian-Israeli Scientific Society.